This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're going to have a little uh, fun in the T100 LT. Uh, it's going to be a great little fun match. Uh, it should be comical and we're going to do a little story time with Spartan. It's been a couple weeks uh, but I got a story for you guys and uh, the story revolves around why I call my dad old man. Now this is a controversial topic. Some people don't like that. They think it's disrespectful. Some people, including my family members, are like, Hey, dude, show some respect to your old man. I'm like, how can you call him old man if I can't call him old man? I'm his son. If anybody can call him old man, it's me. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. So, how did me calling my dad old man come about? Alright, so, you have to go back a few. All right, right out of high school. I mean, when you graduate in 2004, there's a lot of things that you grew up with in school, okay? One of those things was the golden age of professional wrestling, all right? I don't care what you new folks say, you, you young folks with your, your, uh, your PG rated wrestling. Like, I grew up with this stuff, man. That was the, the pinnacle of wrestling. Ever since then, it's went downhill. <laughs> and I don't care what anybody says. Change my mind in the comments below. But anyway, I mean, think about what we went through. In the 90s, the amazing battles between Monday Night Raw and, and uh, Monday Night Nitro with the WCW and the WWF before it became the WWE because the World Wildlife Foundation took over. <laughs> like... What even is that? This is professional wrestling. Just get somebody over there to choke slam the crap out of the World Wildlife Foundation and tell them to change their name. But I'm getting off topic. Anyway, so back to the story at hand. Now, one of the things that I really, really wanted to do with my life, and this should tell you everything you need to know about things, you know, when I was getting out of high school. <laughs> First of all, I wanted to be a professional wrestler. Wait, wait, what? First of all, what makes you think you could be a professional wrestler, Spartan? I mean, you know, I, I was decent, you know, I was a big guy. Well, big for my area. You know, I'm six foot one, 270 pounds graduating high school. I'm a pretty big fella. So I figure, if anybody's got a chance, it's gonna be this guy. And, you know, being close to 300 pounds, you know, has its advantages in the ring. There ain't too many people tossing you around. So I pursued this. And like anything that I do in my life, I put my heart and my soul into it. Uh, because I don't know any other way. Like, when I want something, I go after it. And I push it until I either die or prove otherwise. <laughs> that it was a bad plan. So, I go after it, okay? I want to be a professional wrestler. I'm going to make the most of it and quit shooting my tank. So, I go down and we just so happen to get a uh, thing in the paper. Yeah, that's a thing. Remember? Newspapers were a thing back in the day. Yeah. So, just so happened to get a newspaper thing where uh, there was a new guy in town, he owned a gas station, and he was going to be starting up a uh, small-time professional wrestling circuit in my area. It's great! So, I signed up. I went over. The line was not exactly what you would call long for this, by the way. So, it's not like I had much in the way of competition. So, I get accepted into this school for professional wrestling. Uh, but things didn't happen quite as well as you would expect. I'm not on, uh, you know, Monday Night Raw right now, so that should pretty much tell you where this went. But it was an interesting time of my life. I got to meet a lot of crazy people, uh, famous people, too. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Bill, uh, Billy Gunn, and Road Dog. Like, I, I got to meet quite a few good abyss if you're, if you're into that uh, TNA stuff. So, there was a lot going on, and I got to meet a whole bunch of people, but one of the best things that happened was I got to go 
up to uh, Coshocton and train with a guy called Jeff Cannon. He owns what is called the uh, OWA, I believe. Or no, o OCW. Sorry, Ohio Championship Wrestling. Sorry, uh, OWA. I don't know where I got OWA. In. But yeah, it's the o OCW. And uh, he, he has a training school up in Coshocton. And I, I went there and uh, the great people, just straight up, they're, they're great people. Uh, Jeff is a, is a great teacher. Um, they're hard teachers. You know, they, they don't mess around. They're going to put you through. Oh, my God, Spartan. Quit flipping your tank. Shot out. There we go. Aiming. Oh, missed the, missed the heavy and ram him to death. So, anyway, what does all this have to do with me calling my dad old man? So, after all of my uh, wrestling and stuff that I, I was going through, which I went through it for... It was over a year. So let's just call it a year and a half, two years of, of actual training and going to these events as security and stuff like that and having fun. It, it really is a fun atmosphere. If you've never been to a local like uh, professional wrestling event, I'm not talking about the backyard wrestling stuff. I'm talking about like an actual, you know, put on where they rent a high school gym and, and they have some good old fashioned uh, professional wrestling. You should go check it out. It's usually super cheap. They're usually everywhere. So uh, if you guys get a chance, check them out. Um, but anyway, so I was feeling pretty confident in my abilities. And we were in the, uh, I was at home, okay, and my dad walks up behind me and grabs me. Now this Pat here sees me coming, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, dad walks up, and I'm going to put the moves on him. Watch this. I know I'm spotted. I know he sees me because I saw him go ahead and change directions and whatnot. And then I'm watching him drive towards me. So I give him a little bit of time. And then just as I think he's going to get... And I chose correctly. If I chose the other direction, I would be dead right now. But I didn't. So he gets to die. Um, but anyway, so... Dad walks up behind me and he grabs me and bear hugs me, right? And me being the, you know, alpha male that I am, you know, I'm 6'1", six, six uh, 275 pounds. I'm in pretty good shape because of all the, the wrestling training, cardio and, and, and stuff that I've been doing. So I'm in pretty decent shape. And uh, here's my old man walking up behind me like he gonna, he gonna put it on me. So I say, you ready to go down, old man? And he says, I don't know, are you? And proceeds to belly to back suplex me onto the floor of our house, okay? No padding, nothing. Okay? My old man just suplexed me unassisted. That's my dad. That's my old man. All right? Okay, so now you've got to understand that in my head, I can't let this slide. I love my old man. But I'm a young fella. I can't take that. You cannot put me through that and expect to get away with it. So, <laughs> I proceed to jump up, grab my dad under the back of his knees. Oh, Spartan! Oh, the rolling shot connects. Get out of there. Don't die. Woo! We, we get away with it. Um, but I proceed to grab my dad behind the knees, pick him up onto my shoulders. My dad not a little fella either. I mean, my dad's six foot, 260 pounds usually, somewhere in there. So, not a little guy either. And... I grab him, take him over to the couch, and s at least I'm nice enough to slam you on the couch. All right, I respect the fact that you're a fragile old man. <laughs> so, I take you to the couch, and I slammed it as hard as I could right onto the couch. Broke the couch, mom's laughing her butt off until she heard the couch break, and so everybody had a good time, and from then on, it was like a, I reached the pinnacle of my existence. There's that, that moment in your life when you realize that you can take your own father. Like, you, you, you can handle your own father and something switches off in your brain like, alright, it's, it's a thing. I'm an adult now. And so from that moment on, I call my dad Old Ben. And so, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed me flipping my tank and shooting people. Seven kills, almost a Radley's. 4,000 damage, not bad, guys. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. 
leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.